I'm going to tell you. Why is it that this heifer, who has never put anything into this country, never worked in this country, never paid Social Security tax, never paid a property tax, never put into the uh, IRS, never paid anything into anything, came here with her damn hands stuck out, came from shithole country, wherever the hell you from, this individual left the receipt where she had just bought some food at the bodega, okay, her food stamp balance, let me make sure I'm getting this right, on her EBT card, her taxpayer funded EBT card, her food stamp balance is $13,401.82 for one month. That's this individual's food stamp balance for one month. Okay? Because when you use your EBT card, it leaves a record of the balance after you've gone to the store and spent it, whatever. But somehow, this bitch who has literally never, and yeah, I said it, I'm going to say it again. This bitch who has never paid anything into the system is somehow worthy to get $13,401 and 82 cents. Cash balance is $4,498 and 85 cents. So I'm gonna stop it there and I'm gonna actually show the picture. I just found it. Um, so I'm working behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is an actual photo right here. All right. So as you can see it, I right, the cash balance it's thirteen thousand four hundred and one, or the EBT balance, the food balance, thirteen thousand four hundred and one dollar and eighty two cents. Their cash balance that they can take out and do whatever they want to is four thousand four hundred ninety eight dollars and eighty five cent, and they spent uh, on EBT. I just want to say that um, though I understand some of the frustration because who needs $13,000 a month to eat off of? I mean, I don't even think families of 10 and 12 need that much money, maybe three, 4,000, but 13,000 is a lot. And, um, my whole thing is there's two things. First of all, we should not hate any anyone. This woman calling the lady all out her name, calling her all types of B words. This B got this. You don't know her from Adam's apple. I understand she's not an American citizen. She probably don't have a birth certificate, an ID or anything. So I understand the frustration with that because we have veterans that are homeless. I was just watching a clip the other day. I was homeless. Veterans are struggling. They have to wait a certain amount of time just for... Um, people to give them apartments when they fall on hard times after they've served in the country after they served um in these different wars and all that and they still come here and people treat them like crap i remember being at the social security office years ago and them throwing a veteran out just because he was trying to get help so i understand the frustration when we have veterans on the street that are homeless that um can't afford to live that can't even that don't have housing don't have money then we have senior citizens that only are living off of a thousand dollars a month in a, a in an economy where rent in california is three four thousand dollars a month in boston is three thousand a month and uh new york three thousand a month unless you want to live in a piece of like a, a one inch by one inch you know what i'm saying they can't afford to live but yet you're giving people with no citizenship it's not hey money that they have not worked for and put into social security or put into i forgot what the other one is called when you're older and you get it out oh i forgot it's right on the tip of my tongue but they have not worked to put in to get back and yet you're giving it to them for free and um i remember this gentleman was saying he went to the food stamp office or something to get some food or to the i don't know if it was a food bank and they was he was saying how they was only giving them a little bit but they was giving people that didn't even have an id and all that all this food and all these food stamps and people say that's not true but it does seem like under the biden and kamala harris administration they are doing more for 
minority immigrants that are coming over here don't have no type of documentation than American citizens that are struggling and that have been struggling. And this has got to change. But at the same time, she should not be disrespecting this woman. She should not be hating this woman. As a Christian, that was wrong. It seemed like she was just so full of hate for this woman. This B got this and this. I'm like, dang, if she had a gun, would she shoot her? Because it sounds like she hate him. I don't hate nobody. But I also don't think she needs 13000 a month to eat off of and some people might say oh it just rolls all over it probably wasn't that but just having all that money twenty thousand forty thousand for the, these individuals who have not given anything to american society who have not worked for social security and for the other uh for pension and all these things but yet you're giving them our money that our grandparents that our parents and that we have been working and even the, the millennials and um just now hopefully generation z but our parents and they've been working it for years and they can't get nothing veterans can't get nothing but you're giving it to illegal that's a problem so i understand the frustration but i don't think it's right for her to be calling her out her name and to be so angry and to be hating a woman you don't even know the woman just be like yo that's too much money they need to be taking care of us first i'm not saying come and bring them over here and put them in a a a, a prison cell a two by two a, um a donkey stall a horse stall but what i'm saying is nobody needs that much money why are you giving them more money than you're giving us that's the problem you're giving them more than you're giving us and that's when it's a problem i'm not saying treat them like crap but also there should be a process into how you get into this country the legal way the legal way because 110 a thousand is one thing but millions or hundreds of thousands that's a whole nother thing now the economy is going up jobs are going up our taxes are going up and we're paying but we ain't getting nothing in return but they're giving it to individuals who don't even stay in this country have not worked for this country that's a problem but it's also a problem for the way that she's calling her out her name you should hate nobody it's a way that we do things we need to pray because look as a, God, a child of god i'm gonna be good either way it go i'm gonna be blessed either way it go so what i'm not gonna do is act like the devil and be cussing people out and hate no people because god is gonna supply my every need but at the same time there's a way you go about things and you need america we need to vote Trump in because he's trying to take care of American citizens first, not millions of individuals that have no documentation. And you got veterans and you got senior citizens going to the food pantries, going to places, trying to get housing, trying to get help with rent. And they telling them, no, you already got this. You won't have to live off of six hundred, a thousand a month. Who won't live off of that? But then they bring in um, individuals over here that are illegal and giving them twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month. They're just on the car and thirteen thousand in food stamps. Like what? And they just they just balling in money and something that they have put nothing into and worked nothing for did nothing for the american economy but you just given our money make it make sense that doesn't make sense but doesn't mean i'm gonna hate them or treat them wrong no i'm gonna be like hey how you doing i'm gonna show them the love of god share a bible verse and keep it moving but when it comes to vote i'm trying to vote for somebody that's trying to help americans first i'm not gonna treat the other people like s word because i'm a christian at the end of the day if they need a sandwich i'm gonna give them a sandwich if they need five dollars you best believe i'm gonna give them five dollars if i have it but at the same time i believe that um whoever we need to vote in office needs to be working to make sure american citizens are in a good place financially with stability with where we're living with food with gas with groceries and we're not but instead they're giving it to people that have not put into our system that's just the point but it's at the same time it doesn't mean to treat her hateful the lady called calling her out her name and this B and all that, that was very disrespectful and that was hateful and that was demonic. And that's not what's up. Um, but it is a point that, like I said, we should be taken care of first in that way. It's a way we go about all these things and we don't have to be ugly or hate people either in going about it the right way. So let's remember that. One other thing I want to say is there are states in the U.S., in the South, Mississippi, Texas, Alabama, and states that their minimum wage is, minimum wage is literally still $7.50 an hour. Meanwhile, rent is going sky hockey 2000 to 3000 even in the South. But yet you're giving thousands of dollars a month to illegal immigrants who have put nothing into our, our system. This is unbalanced. This is unfair and unjust to American people that have been working hard for years.